So looking back at last season, Cross Keys finished in ninth in the league and um, reached quarterfinals of the National Cup. What is your reflection of the season as a whole? Uh, pretty disappointing uh, on the whole. Uh, finishing ninth is probably is unacceptable for Cross Keys and the coaching staff and the players uh, know that fully well. Uh, with regards to the cup, um, it was a close quarter final against Landovery, which I think they finished second in the end of the league. So obviously they're an excellent team. But it was, uh, they, they kicked the penalty uh, in the last couple of minutes to obviously win the game. I think it was 14-13. So it's obviously disappointing to go out in the quarter final because uh, we always pride ourselves in uh, getting to the latter stages of the cup, and I've done in previous years. But yeah, season as a whole, like I said, pretty uh, disappointed with how we went. And you took over from Greg Woods as head coach mid-season in January. And what was that transition being like mid-season? Was that a tricky one? It wasn't. It wasn't too bad. I just had to take um, a couple of roles, uh, a couple of more responsibilities during the coaching week. Uh, match day, it was pretty much similar. Uh, but working with Greg over the last uh, four and a half seasons, um, the transition was. It was pretty easy and straightforward. I knew all the players, I knew all the structures, so it wasn't too bad. It was uh, more used to getting, it was more like getting used to the timings and uh, the different roles they were in the week more than anything. And um, Jason Tovey and Damien Welch are joining the team this summer. Do you think that will give a boost to the club? I think, yeah, it's already give a, already give a boost to the club and it's already give a boost to some of the players who have been here a few years. Um, Jason and Damien are obviously big signings uh, for Cross Keys. Uh, they've played a lot of pro rugby over the, over, the, over their careers and over the last 10 years. Uh, I know both of them pretty well, Damien. I know him a bit better personally uh, from playing with Pot and Preeth and the Scarlets with him. Um, both of them played a lot of rugby last season uh, for Edinburgh, obviously, with Jason and Damien played for the Blues. Even He was on the bench in the European final, uh, yeah. So it's great for great to sign boys of that, that caliber, and it's a massive boost uh, for the club, and it should be a massive boost uh, for the team on the pitch uh, moving forward next season. And coach Ian Evans, as well as working with you, he's also now with the Dragons. Do you think that will help the club and help the coaching strategy here? It's great for Ian Evans to be involved with the Dragons. Uh, I know he's going to have a lot of uh, time and a lot of work with the younger boys in the Dragons uh, with his academy role. Uh, yeah, so I know quite a few of our boys are in the academy, so he'll, be, he'll have more hands-on and more day-to-day -day, uh, roles with their, their improvements and their work on. So, yeah, it's brilliant uh, for us. Uh, him um, obviously have quite a big role within the Dragons. Uh, he'll pick up different points. He'll have said different coaching strategies to bring to us you'll have different points that uh, they perhaps are putting forward to their players which you think would uh, transfer to a semi-pro game so yeah i think it can only be a positive and it's a positive for him positive move in his uh, personal career as well and next season it will show the reintroduction of relegation in the premiership do you think this could have a detrimental effect to the quality of the rugby as teams are fighting to avoid the drop I think it could uh, towards the end of the season and in certain maybe Gwent derbies as such or other derby games where teams are, they are, the game's already tight as it is so teams could play a lot more um, territory and kick chase uh, in their strategies. But like I said, we'll have to probably decide that during the season and just think about where you are in the league and obviously play sensible because no one wants to obviously get relegated. But fingers crossed that doesn't um, affect us uh, in cross keys, so we hopefully might not see too much of that. And with your first full season as head coach, fast approach him. Um, what are your hopes and what are you looking forward to for the upcoming season? Uh, just improve on last year's uh, ninth place finish and get back to where we were in the previous two, three seasons before that. Uh, challenging at the top end of the top end of the table. Um, Trying to get the latter stages, semi-finals and finals of the cup. Um, it's just getting back to being the kind of the cross keys of the last few years rather than last season, and just get the momentum and get back winning really. And um, finally, um, you're obviously a Ronda Valley boy. And um, what is it like coaching in the Gwent Valleys? What's the reception been like? 
It's pretty, yeah, it's been a great reception. The sport is, uh, sport is a great. I pretty much know all sporters now after five years. Everyone in the club and everyone behind the scenes are all uh, all good people and uh, they do a lot of work for the club behind the scenes. So, yeah, they obviously good people in Gwent. They're pretty similar to uh, people that are on there. So I get along with everyone and, uh, yeah, it's been a great reception and great club to be part of.